Get paid from them. Yeah. Get paid, yo, nigga. Get paid. Like, yo, send me some central water. I drink no, this no, in my house no. all the time. We need a check. I'm tired of fucking playing. We need a checky. Need a check, check. Which I want? Limited alarm. The green one. That's the alarm. You want to cut it or you want me to cut? It? I'm a lefty. I cut, cut it. funny. Are you? Are you ready? Put some. You can start. Burr, burr, burr. You start Bing uh, bong. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> I'm back. Like cook crack. You heard? <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> I got a lot of energy today. Mad That's energy. How you feeling, Ma? Mad I don't energy. know. I got used to the little Britney Spears sign. Nah, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> Take me out to dinner, baby. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo. You, <laughs> yo, you go blind and go to Puerto Rico. And come energy. back a horse girl. <laughs> Let different. me give a disclaimer. I'm not wearing glasses to try and look fancy or cool. Like Or like David. There's a lot of lights here and I got LASIK in my eyes. So my eyes are really sensitive right now. So please excuse the shades. Nah, but okay, I thought there was, I told you earlier, isn't there like a Kanye song that kind of includes like somebody you wear? Sunglasses and that. Oh, there you go. No church in a while. I mean, last that's, night, nah, last night was song. mad real too because I was, I've been babysitting my, my goddaughter for the past two days and last night was real. Shout out Baby Ocean. Shout out Baby Ocean. Ocean. Ocean some in What's my up, eye. baby? Hold on. What happened? One Bing me. bong. <laughs> <laughs> I think we good. Yo, so yo, so y'all missed me last episode. I don't know. I think nah, I, I missed I, the is Britney bitch paper. I mean, oh, <laughs> that's crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. Like I thought the Britney little piece of paper. Nah, we didn't. Nah, nah, we, 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 we missed you. You was a vibe. You was a vibe. We missed your vibe. Your presence was felt though. It was. Oh. It definitely was. Oh no. What happened? Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's going on y'all? I don't know. That's what you give for not giving me a lollipop that was in your car. I have a whole bunch in my car. It's all good. I already I got, got a you when we, when we leave. Too late. My sugar is uh, already rushed. All right, diabetic patient. You can't play about that with a black man. I probably do have diabetes. No, you don't. Yeah, I got to go get checked out. Um, Hi, guys. Hi. What's going on? How y'all doing? Chilling. How's y'all mental health? Great. Great. <laughs> How's yours? Oh, it's ain't shit. It's horrible, but I put a smile on. It's hard out here for a pimp. Yes, but pimping is illegal in New York, so I'm not trying to get indicted. <laughs> so, is there? At, at fuck yeah, oh yeah, I can't pimp out here. These are our, you know what, right? Well, yeah, mm-hmm. your shots. Okay. All right, so with the, all right, so we got a plot twist. Hold on, hold on. What? I need a garbage. There's a plot a twist to this episode, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you try, you try to miss. <laughs> You tried to magically summon a, a garbage. I, I didn't know where the garbage was at. <laughs> so, Stacy had the greatest idea that um, <laughs> even though we're gonna stay on topic, shout out Stacy. Mellow Eve, Stace. Mellow Stace, follow her on the gram. Uh, Gabby Spears too on the gram. You heard? Okay. She had an idea that we should. Bing bong. No, <laughs> just <laughs> stop. Yeah. All right, we're not doing that. All right, what's up? <laughs> that we should start. We should stay on topic, but in the midst of us having a conversation, I'll just ask, like, a random question. And if y'all don't answer, y'all take a shot. Okay. If y'all think that's a dope idea, we'll continue. If not, we're going to continue. We're going to continue. <laughs> but this is what I wanted to know. How how deep y'all want me to ask no, this no, no, question? No, no, no. Just go for it. It could be whatever. Just, just go for I... it. And then that would determine if we want to go that mm-hmm. deep or we just want to keep it a little That's what above said. ground. That's what she said. What y'all, y'all water women or something? Y'all mermaids? I am. I, my my sign is um water. No, it's, it's No, it's air. It's Sorry. It's air. Fuck. Water is it's, cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all right, all right, all right, right. We're not doing that. All right. All right, cool. So the topic today is can we get a drum roll? I only did that so we could, I can unlock my phone and I can say something. <laughs> so, question number one, guys. What do you define as a friend? <laughs> Bing! Bo- I, we not doing that no more. A friend? Well, there's a difference between a best friend and a friend. So Elaborate. Elaborate? Like, there's certain... Like, my best friend, I would tell anything to. Okay. Anything. Like, there's no... Secret? There's no secrets, no limits, no nothing. And then a friend is just like, you know, we we go through things together. I tell them certain things, but not so, so, so personal. 
So it sounds like you're defining a, a best friend and an associate. That's kind no, of no. I mean, not really. An associate could be someone you don't even speak to all the time. You don't speak to them. Maybe you don't even have their phone number. That's an associate. How, how y'all talk? Like, that, oh, what's right? up? But yes, in telegrams. That's like you be talking to your associate. I don't even have telegram. Yo, Stacy. I just saw you join the other day too. I got a notification on it about what telegram. Oh. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I had to um. Some top secret business was going down. I needed to download it for the feds won't be watching. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. You blowing up the spot. You about to get me indicted. I mean, I'm Nobody not. I, 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 I didn't say nothing but just you downloading the app. That's it. It could have been by accident. You know what I'm saying? You could have. Your Honor, I saw Daquan's name come up in Telegram. That's what you're going to say to the judge? No, not at all. All right, cool. I'm going to say take nothing. The stand. Don't take the stance. See? So what do you define as a friend, Stacy? Someone you can count on. Someone who's emotionally there for you, supportive, through the good, through the bad. Mm -hmm. It's it's personal where I think you could have a best friend and you could share everything, but I don't think you have to tell them everything to define it as a best friend. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion because... I know having a best friend, there's things we might not... Sh I just learned not to share everything. You know, there's certain things you just keep to yourself no matter what. And especially when it comes to, like, relationships. You could have a best friend and there might be certain things you're not going to want to share. But to make a good friend or anything like that, I define a friend, again, emotionally being there, loyal, mm -hmm. having your back when you're not around. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if... People are belittling you or downgrading you. Even if that person is there and they hear it, they they got your back. So, with that being said, now that y'all gave those definitions as friends, associates, best friend, um, the next question would be is, has associates or distant acquaintances shown actions towards you that you would expect from your actual friends? Yes. What's the scenario? I can't think of, like, a specific scenario off the top of my head, but there's been times where, like, where I've been able to, like, sit and think, like, damn, I have a close friend that would have never done what this person has done, which has led me to realize that just because you've known someone for X amount of years doesn't mean that they're closer to you or more loyal to you or anything less than... Uh, you can meet a person... Tomorrow, tomorrow, and that person will show you more loyalty than someone you've known for 10 years. That person is me, Day Day. I met me a couple months ago, and boom, look where we're at now. That's, that's a great example, actually, because a lot of people has told were telling us on the podcast, right? Not the podcast, sorry, but when we were doing the live, they were telling us, like, yo, y'all should start a podcast. Like, y'all two are so good together. But no one took that step. Initiative. To, to get us together, to talk about and I starting say that, a podcast the way you did. And I say, we don't know you from a hole in... Well, we didn't know you from a hole in the wall. So that is a good example. I mean, that's also what comes with being a friend. You see a potential that you don't see in yourself and having a really good friend by your side is going to push you to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're down or when you don't see something within yourself as being your friend, that's where the support system comes in. Like, I'm going to push you to the best. Because I want all my friends to win. Mm -hmm. Now, with an associate, you're going you gonna to want everyone to win regardless just because mm -hmm. that's just who you are and the love that you have in your heart. But you're not going to go as hard for someone who you genuinely give a fuck for. Yeah. And with you, even though we didn't know you, obviously, you saw something in, within me and Gabby that mm -hmm. you you saw we could take it far. Mm -hmm. And I think you saw more potential in us than we did in ourselves. No, definitely. And, you know, now we could actually label you as you're a friend to us. Mm -hmm. I learned you can't use the f word friend loosely because not everyone is your Listen, friend. I don't need y'all to start having me cry over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to break down. No, and, and it's definitely not like even if you meet someone and you vibe with them, I still don't think you could really call them your friend. I feel like now... People got to prove themselves in so many different ways. I, I think that um just because you know somebody's first name doesn't mean you know them. That's true. A hundred percent. So that leads to... There's the a lot of people that have said even to me, like, oh, I know her. Her name, she's Gabby. And they'll be like, oh, Gabby Spears from Instagram. Like, you don't know me. You know the Instagram of me. Gabby. You, you know, know of me. But... What I want you to see. You don't You don't know me. So, so with that being said, do you think... um The next question would be is... um. 
does Tom determine one's loyalty and obligation as a friend, or does actions and I think situations. I think actions. Yeah. And and life. Because again, you could have known someone for so many years, and then when you truly, really need them, they might not be there. Mm -hmm. And within someone who you know for a short period of time could actually be there. Mm-hmm. And you, that's someone who you least expected to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's someone who, oh, let me just give them a call and see if they could actually be there. And next thing you know, they supported in every possible way that you least expected, mm-hmm. rather than someone who you could, thought you could count on. And that's when you balance of who's really down for you and who's not. I see friendship more beyond. Like, I feel like growing up, we only, like, we based our friends on who was down to party. Mm-hmm. And not like who genuinely. It's because we were also so immature. Like now we we've been through real shit. We've been through life, you know. Mm-hmm. So now it's not just about oh I'm sad. Who's gonna go out with me tonight? Oh Stacy dubbed me, so I'm mad at Stacy next week and whenever she calls me to go. Like it, there's more to it than just that. So like now it's like you got to think about who's really there for you in all situations when you're happy when you're sad when you're mad when you're depressed when you're stressed us who's going to be there for you to support you through all those emotions i just feel like that's what it is now that's what i look for in friendships it's not about who i've known for x amount of years oh i've before i was huge on that before i used to be like oh i've known her for 12 15 years like that's my close friend nah life has taught me like that shit don't matter so here's a shot question Y'all ready? It's for both of y'all. Okay. Um, has any of y'all friends covered up for y'all while y'all was cheating while y'all was out? And do they know? Mm-mm. I don't think so. <laughs> Would you like to take a shot, Stacey? No, no, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. Re- <laughs> Freestyle this question to me again. Has my has my friend ever covered for me while I'm... While you were cheating? No. No, 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 no. Really, really, like... It will, they don't want to take the shot. Nah, 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 nah. It, nah, I really haven't, though. For real? No. All right, another freestyle shot question. Do another one. Do another one. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey, what you did? What you started? <laughs> <sighs> Damn. Go should for I, it. Should I go for it? Go, go for it. All right. Uh... Have y'all cheated recently? No. Man. All right. That's cool. Here's another one. Not have y'all ch- have y'all ever cheated? And if y'all did, do y'all have the balls to say it to the person y'all cheated on with now? All right. So here's my question to that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, wait. no, wait. no, wait. no, wait. no because I was just, remember we was having this conversation? When? Right I now? was, no, no. I, was, I don't remember. I want to say maybe like a week ago. That I was like, yo, honestly... Cheating, like cheating, has a lot of definitions. When, when cheating oh. to me is when you in a relationship and you having <laughs> intercourse or something with the other person. That's cheating. I mean, but cheating to Stacy might mean texting another guy while you in a relationship. I mean, I think overall it's all cheating, isn't it? Like, if I'm in a relationship and I'm texting another guy, isn't that like sharing energy, physically, mentally, it's, emotionally, it's, or it's time? Cheating. With okay, you see, but that's different because cheating. I've been in a relationship and I was texting another guy. But Why? as far as, sh- as sharing physically or mentally, whatever you just well, you're said, giving him the time you of give day. Give him time. That's, yeah, but you that's keep your options open in a relationship. That's kind of what it looks. That's like. That's an insurance policy, from, from Gabby. From your perspective, no. it might not look like it but from other people if you know right, but that's what i'm saying to some people that might not be like to me but I, it, I feel like if i was if i was to see my guy texting another girl i'm not gonna say he cheated on me i'm gonna just be like yo you mad grimy but i'm not gonna say he cheated on me now if he chilled with the bitch and he took her out to dinner Hey, yo, take me out to dinner, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you nah, just wanted to get that But if, if he took her out to dinner or, you know, they had sex, then that's like, damn, you really cheated on me, bro. So y'all don't define texting another... I do. I don't. Why? I do, I do because I know that I would not... If that's my man's home girl, like, whatever, and that's established and I'm aware of it, yeah. granted. Why? Because I have a lot of guy friends. Okay. So I wouldn't want... You know, I want my men to be comfortable enough that if... Let's say one of my homeboy FaceTimes me. 
I, it's we're we're good enough that I could pick up. I don't have to hide nothing because at the end of the day, this is my homeboy. No, yeah, but that that I understand because I do that now in my relationship. But like if you, my what guy... I'm, but at the end of the day, like as in like I'm texting someone who I know I find attractive, and there's a possibility of it going elsewhere. And it, even if it's just texting, I'm a I'm gonna call that cheating because I'm not gonna want my men to be texting a female where. He could potentially be finding this girl attractive. Remember, conversations lead to the next thing. Yes. You're, and you're absolutely right. I'm not taking that away from you or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, if I were to see that, I'm not going to assume, like, oh, he cheated on me. Because in, in the back of your no, mind, no, no. you can be unhappy. Like, <laughs> what if you're unhappy and you just texting because... Then leave. Yeah, but it's that's the first Leave. wasn't that the first episode or second mm. I mean it's easier said than done but nope. that's where you communicate that's yeah. where communication comes but at the end of the part. day if let's say I was to get caught or vice versa I feel like if we communicate and we see where we're unhappy and we're willing to fix that then Gabby, we nobody cheated. Take your shot, ma. I gotta ask I some like I gotta no, nah, I gotta ask. You know, she's yeah, you gotta take your shot. Right? Just take your shot. I don't, I don't know. Cheating to me is my nigga. You dead ass use your money to take her out to All eat, right. bro. What's the question again? No, she gotta take her no, shot. No, 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 no. But what was the what question? What was the again? question? You don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing this freestyle? That was it. That was I. I'm not gonna take the shot because that's why I asked you. Let me ask you the question: What is cheating? Because if I find my dude Yo. texting a girl, I'm not gonna say he cheated on me. Yo, girls be moving the goalposts every single time. Yo, cheating is cheating. Nah, no, cheating. it's not. You find you. No, if you scratch a lie, you'll find a thief. Cheating is cheating, no. regardless of how you it's slice it. It's not cheating to me. Yo, leave in the comments down below if you think that that's cheating. That's cheating. It's not Walter, cheating. is that cheating? You're a married man. You, you want that nice. <laughs> no, because that's like you saying, yo, I want that lip gloss, but I don't got money to pay for it. So just because you want it, you 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 calling me a thief because I'm saying I want it, and I might be like... I mean, you didn't take it. it I, I, get, I, I get your I point. I get your point. I got your point, but I, I don't know if it could be correlated. Just, just the fact that you're inquiring about it means and that anyway, it's a potential. And anyway, hold on. And anyway, it's there's been thought. numerous... There's, I don't want to say numerous, but like two times where I was texting a guy and I knew that I didn't want to be with them or do anything with so them. I was just bored. That's, and, that's and not cheating. I don't like, All right, I'll that see, is entertaining, but that's see, not women cheating. Are, it's women not physically... The shit. Okay, it's not physically cheating, but it's... Theoretically, it's cheating. But because it's, no. that same time you can utilize with your significant other to grow a better communication so you won't be bored, you're utilizing other people's okay. time. Okay, and, and that's what happens when you're young and then you're in a relationship. Right, you don't, right. you don't understand that. You want to use the young part. No, because it's the truth. But I, I don't do that now in my relationship. I'm, like, I'm 100% happy. I don't need to go and text another guy. I don't need to entertain another guy. A nigga can hit me up, yo, and I'm not going to go and yo, respond like, yo, Gabby, just take, take a the shot. shot my G. No, I got the line for you. I'm not going to take the shot because it's not my belief. Go, moving the goalposts is crazy. No. Yo, you knew. You I just, was with it to take the shot, but I'm not way. gonna take the the shot wrongfully. All right, all right. There's levels. And I think it's all about intention. You see what I'm saying? Like yes. that, but you can talk to an opposite sex, and that doesn't right. mean that you're gonna no, do but something the, with them. It's like I said. Can you talk to a friend? Yeah, but if there's some type of attraction, okay. When you define texting, is it someone that you had something with in the past? No. No, because then now that's different. That, that's But even still, just even if it's new or old, the fact that you're inquiring, a thought can lead to an action. A but, window of opportunity is a window you, of opportunity. Okay, but what if you know that you do not, you're not physically, mentally, emotionally you in, know why? interested in... What about the opposite You know why? Person? Because you're, you're still theoretically trying to fill a void your significant other can't because but you're, that's you're not bored. Cheating. If your significant other was able to cover all boards on the table you when it came to you, to you wouldn't entertain and somebody. I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong for that. But it's That's entertainment. It's not you cheating. That's why you No, take I'm not the taking a shot because it's not my belief. All right, so I got to ask another just raunchy right. question. Which, which, which nut is better? Any penetration or vaginal penetration or Well, I've never done angel. Angel. <laughs> angel, take a shot. Take a shot. I've never done anal, so I don't know. you never done anal? We had this conversation <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Yo, why are you asking <laughs> question like that? I'm sorry. I'll be so honest. Ain't no sex is bomb sex. Um. I had my first <laughs> orgasm through ain't no. Uh, what so. is that? Yo, what questions y'all want me to ask for y'all to take these shots? I mean, but you didn't really ask. You just said which one is, like, better. That's not taking a shot. All I mean, right. that's not. Um, 
that you just exposed yourself for no reason? Nah, she <laughs> Stacey was been talking about ass play from the live. Yeah, right, that, I, that started I, this podcast. Ain't that no, did. Ain't no, I never did butt play. That's crazy. I, one of my exes licked my butt, but I, I was very uncomfortable. Uh, I had my legs up. I was wilding. I was 19. Chill, chill, chill. I was 10 years okay. old. You got to relax. Don't you, didn't, you didn't ask a question, though. So you know what? Let's go back to the topic. Yeah, let's go back, let's go back to the friends and foes. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> yo. Oh, I'm, I'm going to think of some more questions. No, go All ahead. right. So what are the main sources as to why friendships end betrayal mm-hmm. it could be that it could be a misunderstanding it could be poor communication honestly i feel like having a friendship is having a relationship it is like be- it's just as much energy put being put into a friendship the only difference is you're not having sex because you gotta know you gotta no, understand you gotta understand your friend okay. you gotta know with let's say you have a friend that doesn't like to be super expressive. You got to somehow open them up enough to tell you what's kind of going on. And if even if they be like, I'm okay, you got to dig deeper because you know they're not okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To show that you genuinely still care, even if they're not that expressive friend. So, again, it's betrayal. So, like Gabby said, it's, it is like a relationship because... Mm. So- you, so, you got to know the in and outs with this person. So do you... All right, because I, I really feel like most girls feel this way. Do you think it's better to be friends with a guy or a girl? I, I enjoy having my girlfriends. I think everyone needs that girlfriend or girlfriends to, you know, for going out or whatever, or just having girl talks. It's needed. But is it... But, you know, okay, I say it like this. At our age, I think we're at a place where we don't need a set of friends to be gossipers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like even if we want to say guy friends are better because they don't like to talk. Well, if you surround yourself with the correct friends, y'all not going to be sitting here in a circle where me and Gabby, we drove over here. and We wasn't like, oh, because this person X, Y and Z. Like, no, we spoke about other. You know what I'm saying? Like we had different talks. Mm -hmm. Our talks are not based on people. So before I used to sit here and say like, yo, I'd rather have guy friends because females, all they do is talk shit about other people or other females. Mm -hmm. When you get the right circle, as you get older, your circle's going to get smaller. Y'all have Mm -hmm. guy friends? I have guy friends. I have a lot of guy friends. friends? Okay, here's a shot question. Y'all fucked any of y'all guy friends? No. Bro, let me tell you a story that... No, I... Let me tell you, hold on. (laughs) Let me tell you a story. How one of my old... Ex, he was one of my best best friends. He's not my ex. I was gonna say ex best friend. Um, yo, me and him even went to Mexico and Jamaica together. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yo, and Someone I put rap. this on my uncle's bones. May he rest in peace. Nothing, never. Like we slept on separate beds, bro. We would wake up, go to the pool, get twisted. He used to go his way back, bitches. I used to be by the bar, like taking shots or on Facetime with like my take, friends back home. Took a bar, shots there, but I take a shot here. But right. no, but like. I, I don't know why it's so difficult for people to, like, realize that, like... Because, I mean... There's a stigma for girls to have guys. And I and I understand that, they but always, that's I, not right. Men always there's fuck been it a up. time. There's been a time when I got really upset at Stacey one time, too, when you was like, oh, about the whole thing with L. Oh, okay, I, got it. L Yo, Boogie? and she's like, who? L Boogie? No, 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 I know exactly who she's talking about. I don't know who's El Boogie. No, you but, said L, so I just added the Oh, boogie well, yeah. So she's like, oh, I know you did. And I'm like, bro, no. And she's like, no, nah, but if you did, it's cool. You know, I'm like, bro, the, like, the I'm not. safe with me. I'm like, yeah. And <laughs> I, try to, I try to get her super comfortable. To just like, and I'm like, like, bro, like, I'm a grown woman. Like, if I do something with somebody, it's because I wanted to. Like, and I'm going to say it because I did it because I wanted to. I don't have to lie to nobody about who I did something with. And I was like, I got mad at her because I felt like she kept insisting. Like, you could tell me. Yeah, you did. Like, I know. Yeah, but whatever. And I'm like... You was trying to, like, really get that shit out of her. Yo, and I'm like, yo, bro, like, I know what I did and who I've done shit with. And no, like, he's not one of them. (laughs) Yo, I don't think I ever... (laughs) You know why? Because I don't think I ever expressed myself (laughs) about that situation to her. So I think it it was one of those situations was brought to my attention. So I'm like, why would Gabby lie? We're cool, right? Like... Why would she lie if she did? Like, at the end of the day, you could have 100 bodies. 
I'm going to still support you in every fucking and way. Exactly I, my point. I don't care. You know, I'm not a judgy friend. I, I'm far from perfect. You know, mm-hmm. uh, so I would never judge. Mm. I'm a whatever you decide to do, and if we gotta keep it behind closed doors, you gonna keep it behind closed <laughs> but, doors. And I know that Stacy's that type of friend, so that's why I was getting annoyed at the fact that I feel like she thought that I was lying to her about whether I did yeah, something with him y'all or not. Built that, and I'm like, no, bro. Y'all built like that relationship between y'all with mind you, don't feel we like were like. Right. No, of course. So I, I felt like she was, you know, so I, I took it personally. But you I'm know, like, you know what's like, another thing, though, that I know that guy since we were younger, we and then w- I met her like a few years after. Mm-hmm. So she probably felt like, you know, years when we were young. I've known him since I was 13. I'm about to be 31. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Like, I could see why she feels like that. But then I also feel like you're not trusting me enough to tell you the truth about whether I have well, sex with this person or not. Like, it's, nigga, it's my vajay. Like... I know who I do something with or not. <laughs> and I wouldn't lie about it. Like, it is what it is. But Jay is dumb funny for a nickname. <laughs> You're so stupid. So, all right. So, y'all never... Bing bong. <laughs> y'all never bing bong nah, money I have, You know what's so funny? I have a friend now that he be like, Stacey, I don't know why niggas like you. You're ugly. <laughs> Ooh. Your fr- Are you ma- I don't Name know. a friend or he, take the shot. Yo, shout out to Randy. Randy. Oh. I... I think you oh, well. Randy. He tells me all the time, but he be like, Yeah, he tells you all the he, time. You he, uh, like, he, lo- he lowers your self esteem by calling you up. I mean, better be the most cutest dude on earth. Nope. No, no, no. The way she looked down. No, 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 no. Check this out. Like, he Check. that tells me, like, yo, I don't, he, well, he makes fun of my eyes because I have a lazy eye, guys. I'm he sure likes you. He likes you. I mean, not, but yo. He likes you. He's, yo, we've been How long friends. he's been doing that? Like, well, how, long, day, yeah. how long he's been doing that? You learned that in kindergarten. When the they best, look on you, they like you. The best way to get a but girl... But he's never, 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 never tried nothing. Like, we always... Because every time he did, you were what? In a relationship. I don't know. Take the shot if I'm lying. If I was in a Take relationship... Take the shot if I'm lying. Well, he knew anybody... Like, I'll be talking to somebody, but not necessarily in relationships. You st- Take the but shot niggas, if I'm lying. niggas gonna shoot their shot anyway. When somebody... That's his way of shooting his shot. By calling me, saying, oh. The best way to get a girl's attention when all she get is admiration is a shit on her. And cut, cut, I cut ass on all the girls I like. He used to be like, yo, Stace, you got a lazy eye. Ain't nobody going to like you. Exactly. You oh, know why? Oh, that's why he like you then. Yeah, because you got a lazy eye. Yeah, because you got Shout a lazy Shout out to my lazy eye. <laughs> oh. Yo, Randy, if you want, you single? It, who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah. No, no, the person behind you, which is still you. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so yeah. You ain't even lying. <laughs> you yeah, sing, I, you sing? Yes, I am. Yo, Randy, hey, listen. No. No? No. Why not? That's my friend. So? No. We're friends. He ugly? No, but it's just not. It's, no, I'm good. I I would never sleep with none of my guy friends. Like, I don't want to mess that up. Like that It's friend, true. Like, if I'm friends with you, I'd rather keep it that way. Like, going back. Then if it doesn't work out, then the friendship is dead. You know what I'm saying? It's never going to really. It, you got to have this maturity in you to kind of keep that friendship out of that's friendship out, level. That's true. You know why? Because, so I've known this guy for... I want to, How old are you when you go to college? Depending. Like 17, 18, right? Oh, Martin Luther King was 15. So. so I've known him since he was playing baseball in high school. And um, you know who I'm talking about. S. Say his name. We'll take a shot. Nah, I'm not doing that, bro. Yo, I'm y- grown. Y'all got to take S. Yo. <laughs> anyway, so look. So whatever. The point is that he used to always try to talk to me, right? Always try to talk to me. But me and him were like genuinely cool. Or at least in my mind, we were cool. And um, he used to always try to talk to me, Man, whatever. Fuck it up. And whoa, then, whoa, whoa. wait, hold on. And then I want to s- last year, la- I, yeah, last year, mm. or a year and a half ago, whatever. Whenever the freaking pandemic started, when was that? Two thousand nineteen. Twenty twenty. March twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So then, yeah, there. So I was like, you know what? He's been so consistent for so many years, like trying to talk to me. So I was like, let's give him, him a, a shot, chance. right? Give him a shot. Cause I'm like, yo, I feel like. I feel, I felt that. Yeah. Felt that. So I I'm like, yo, I feel I, like maybe what if he's the one and I'm over here stopping it because I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it as friendship, a friendship and maybe I'm blocking my blessings. So I'm like, fuck it. Whatever. We start talking, whatever. And then like, he you just. found out his feet stink. No, it had nothing to do with it. Like, that. it was just. It, he just he fucked up, and I was what, like, bro, like I didn't even want you, like what, you wanted me, like. What, what did this young man do? He just disappeared. Oh, he did the ghost. Yeah. Oh, he got ghost. On, oh, he probably got intimidated by your aura. He just did, bro. We was together. Well, we weren't like official. I don't 
don't even know what the y'all fuck was kick, we y'all were, kicking bro. it. Y'all yeah. was kicking it. Y'all was kicking it. Y'all vibing. I personally, like, I don't know. You have to genuinely both grow that connection. You know what I'm but saying? But we, well, at least in my mind, I did. And what fucked me up was the fact that I never saw him like that. So for me to give it a shot and then, like, actually start seeing him in that way, <clears throat> it was like, bro, like, you mentally fucked me up because I didn't want you. I never pursued you. You're why the is one it that, that why do, me. Why does that seem like a favor? No, no, no. Do you feel, do, do girls think that right? in their brain? I don't know. Why, have you ever gotten, cause just because you chill with someone so much, people automatic, oh, yeah, because Gabby and this person are fucking around. But that's how I was with my old well, best that's a, friend. That's imagination. People and and that that's so, like, why is it not a real thing to believe that people could just be friends? You know what I'm saying? Because like, cause guys can't, like, I have a lot of girlfriends. I prefer a lot of girlfriends. Because uh Do you make you don't make a move on each and every one of them? None of them. That's what I'm saying. So it's like I have yo, I have a guy friend named Felix, and you know what I'm saying? Like, we keep it at that. Like, yo, and I know his girlfriend, like, you know, is Yeah, y'all never tried to. Yeah, no, but it's, I have it's, a lot of guy friends too that it's like never. You, I think that plays into the male psyche sometimes where it's like they feel like they can't they themselves can't establish friends with women and just keep it platonic. So when they see a girl with a guy, they automatic they mind just go different places. I don't know. I think they can't establish. So corny. Like it's super corny for like, like I have a friend now where I just because me and him talk so much and probably hang out, people probably like, oh yeah, because you and this person, I know for a fact y'all got something. But like, no, we just mad cool. But even then, I I put accountability on the women friend because y'all don't keep it clear cut as far as communication sometimes. I think lines get blurred so much. No, I don't think it's that lines get blurred. I, I think I it's just it that do. guys see a little tiny space and they like, oh yeah, it's go time. Yeah, like no, not? it's not go time. You used to squeeze in on the the um subway if there was a little crack in the door. Me? So you didn't <laughs> miss your train? Never. I was sitting. Why well, not? Bing bong. I was. I was. Bing. Stop. I, was nah, stop. I, I, I would be honest. Time. There was a few times I took the train, I put my hat in. Yeah, like, nah, boom. I never did that. Little window, boom. Hold this shit for like, me. But I used to, I used to like play like Russian. Like, all right, should I? Should I not? Like, nah. fuck it. You I know what? Nah, I just feel like guys, smooth, guys like. are always like guys could see a little, like. Because guys is horny. That's why. But that's it's just that's why, why because you're gonna ruin a good friendship over what a nut. I don't you know got what time for friends, man. Everybody has, everyone needs everyone a friend. Everyone needs a friend. Everybody needs and a shoulder to And it's good to, to have, man. it's good when a guy has a girlfriend. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, it's vice versa because what if I'm having issues with my boyfriend and I need you that You can get that man's perspective. Yeah. Uh, you know? Okay. The same thing. Like, I have a guy friend. Like, he tell, he puts me on like, yo, stays X, Y, and Z with shorty. You know, and whatever advice I could give him, I do it. Mm -hmm. So it's and it's vice versa where he'll be like, "Yo, stay. You doing too much. Fall back. Let the nigga play his part." Or X, Y, and Z. Like it's needed. But now, if you hear crushing on me or you you doing something else, like you gonna mess that relationship up. Why? Like mm -hmm. there's some. You know, like I get it. If it's a mutual connection and you feel like you mean you could really be something, I right, then maybe we both could take the step. But if it's just a one sided thing and you don't see that I'm giving you that type of time, like. Don't, I mean, you can you express yourself like, your stays, you know what? Because I did have a friend. I did have a friend where that he wanda. stopped being my friend because he was like, yo, Stace, I like you. And, and I can't be your friend because I have this crazy crush on you. And I'm Man, like, that's he, real. He, he played the Trey songs, can't be friends song. Yeah, you're still stupid. <laughs> and um, we stopped being friends for like a month or two. And then he came back and was just like, you know what? If being your friend is the only way to have you in my life, then I'll just accept it. That's mm -hmm. a real man. And and we did. But then it's like, I'm not gonna like, I started dating someone he knew, but... Oh. Uh... It wasn't Crushed where his heart. no, it, it did like his heart. I'm not even like the dude don't even like we not even friends no more. Cause you did wrong. But again, I made it clear from the guess or what am I not supposed to move nah, on with nah, my life? Not, not not with my friend, no. I didn't meet him on in his I time though. I met him on my own, and next thing you know, I found mm. out that they were friends. Nah, though, you so does that, that even count? No, yeah, it count because y'all got all this telekinesis that y'all got as women. Up. So y'all supposed to no. know like, oh yeah, that's probably his if friend. I didn't meet him on his time. I met on Tinder? No, I met him with somebody else. Like, I was hanging out with somebody else, and then, boom, I met the dude, and then me and him started kicking, and then once I saw his circle, I'm like, oh, shit, you know my friend. And then he's like, yeah, that's my nigga. And broke, I'm like... Broke his heart. Now he's a savage. Look at you. Look at what y'all women nah, do. Nah, he has a baby on the way. So he's happy. What the fuck that mean? He probably think that should be your baby anyway. 
Oh, niggas always think that shit. They'd be like, damn, that could have been your baby. Why? Like, anyways. But yeah, 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 take, like, yeah, take some a dude saying, y'all want to get you pregnant as a compliment? No. No. I because think. then you're going to get up and bounce, and yeah. I'm going to have to take care of this baby by my goddamn self. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, that's true. Niggas yeah. don't take care of You're funny. Baby. We was actually talking about this, like, baby fathers, like, and shit on the way over here. What's your baby daddy? Or well, mine's. Uh, no, nah, we not. We not. This ain't the part for that. I ain't shitting on no, no baby but, father. No, no, no. My, my son's father's great. I, I have no complaints with him as a father. Oh, but as a person, he's... No, no, no. no. Anyways. No, I have no complaints uh, with him. Yeah, Gabby, but... would you like to elaborate or she need to take a shot? Nah, that's her relationship with him. I can't say anything. Oh, God, yeah, I just don't want to take a shot. No, I got to right. respect it. At the end of the day, he nah. means more to her in her life than me. Respect. I'm not going to shit I, on... I respect it. I respect it. It is what it is. If, so, she, if, if one day she even was to tell me, like, yo, I'm back with him. <laughs> Would you? Would you ever get back with your baby father? No. Oh, damn. Sure no, I, I think we're better off as friends. Yo, Walter, you got a question I can ask him where they could take a shot or not? You got a lot. You got a. I don't know. Put your thinking cap on. You might have to uh, next time smoke. I have a scarf on, so I can't put my thinking cap on. <laughs> so, but, all right. So, what? This is one of the questions. I'm just. I just memorized it. Um, what is friendship code during social gatherings? For instance, like it's it's a friend's birthday, and the bill comes. Who pays the bill? Well, we that's automatic. It. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what? We this split is... it, but we don't let the birthday girl pay. Exactly. So what if I just ordered a drink of water and the bill is nine? Okay, let me tell you something. Now that you actually elaborated on that, I'm sorry. But if you're coming out to dinner, period, mm -hmm. and, I, and I know a lot of females could agree with me, at least my circle of friends, it don't matter. If you coming out, you putting up whatever the split is. You have Even to. if I just ordered you like have a, to. some you bread. You should have stood home then. Like, nah, but I just came you out. You know what? The only here. obsession probably will be <clears throat> is we'll probably take out like $30, $40, 50 out of your bill. You know what I'm saying? Let's say everybody. Not even, because I remember one time it was um somebody's birthday. And I went out, and I I think I had ate in my mom's house prior. So I really like was not hungry. Mm -hmm. So I ordered Wait, like what, a Where did we go to salad. Bagatelle? No, it was like um. I think it was bag of no, cause I had I had salmon that day. That okay, time. salmon. No salmon. Um, cause <laughs> when we oh fantastic, there you go. Oh, okay, so okay. because I oh, ate at my mom's I, house, I literally had a salad and water and I think like soda or something. So how much but was how no? Much I was paid your, it. It but was how like much sixty was your... per person, and I paid it. Oh, so it was a group. Yeah. Okay. No, but I'm saying like you have to split the bill. Right. Th this isn't like a group thing where it's like you just got to pay sixty dollars a plate. I'm talking about no, but going no, no, that's no, what the, it was. The bill came. Everybody was like, the, it the bill was just sixty per I think I know. I remember. But what if one person spent a buck twenty and then another the person? No, spent 20 we cash. try not. We don't do that. You know, like I feel oh, like that was another thing when the the time you talking about Bagatelle, they were ordering drinks like crazy, and at that so time I wasn't I think, really drinking. So, so no, no so for Bagatelle, it. it was probably like a group of twelve. Mm -hmm. I think it was like twelve of us. Uh, that was a hundred per person. It, no, I it remember. was probably more. It was it probably was? like two hundred each. Oh well, because Bagatelle, you know, was mm -hmm. one of the most expensive restaurants. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think a girl only had like one drink or two, and I think this is what we was discussing where problems started happening when it came to friendship because people were complaining when it came to the bill. Mm -hmm. If you know, first and foremost. If you're going out to dinner and they tell you the restaurant name, look it up. Because you already know more or less of how much you're spending, depending mm -hmm. on the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Two, if you're not going to eat or drink, then you know what? Make up an excuse and do not go. That's true. Uh, but what if I'm there in support of my friend? Then you know no. what? Take her out on your own time. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I have friends, right, where my birthday will come and... My friend will take me out. Yo, Stacey, I can't do it that day with with the group. Yeah, but I'll take I'll take too. you out on my own whenever I, whenever you free. Mm -hmm. Granted, and then that way she knows more or less that she ain't got nothing to worry. Cause let's say my like my friend for my birthday, like I believe two years ago, three I think before the pandemic, she took me to SDK. Cause mm -hmm. for my actual yeah. birthday, yeah, I get money. I, I for my birthday, I, she was gonna go away for Puerto Rico, so I she took. took out of so with her taking me to <laughs> SDK, she already knew more or less of how much she's spending. But mm -hmm. then I did a birthday dinner where 
I went to Budokan and and there to you know other people had to split the bill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you know that you can't afford to split a bill, don't go. And it's not because you're broke or whatever the case is, but it's it's to save yourself an embarrassment or to put yourself in a predicament that people are going to talk about later on after. Mm -hmm. It's just it don't matter if you're just having a water. Mm -hmm. Like don't don't come out. Don't be on that type of time like why am I going to get dressed, do the most, to then just be like, oh, no, I only want water tonight? The fuck you doing? Water be expensive. Y'all ever had diet water? <laughs> diet water is wild expensive. I never have. <laughs> Yo, Stacey, your face, bro. <laughs> Yo, they didn't. Sometimes I just want to clip you, pal. <laughs> Are you trying to promote violence on the Anyway, podcast? but that's a, that's a perfect example, though, because, like, this upcoming Saturday, I'm going to a birthday dinner. You, you want to eat before or after? And nah, I'm gonna eat there. But it's like Where is that's it? like me. Um, your spot. Zuma. Oh, you, you know. How, you oh, you going to Zuma? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're looking at two hundred a piece. But that and and I and I'm mentally two, prepared for that 200, already. Two hundred. And that's for per, listen. I went and it's seven of us. That's crazy. That's mm -hmm. that bill gonna be rent money. The, but but that's what that's what Stacy was saying, and that's what I'm gonna add on to like i'm already mentally prepared for that because the day that my friend said yo this is where i want to do my birthday dinner with my close friends mm -hmm. i i was like oh i remember that place because i haven't been to it yet mm -hmm. but stacy told I me that it's expensive zuma so, is probably one of my top restaurants so Shout i remember i remember her zuma. telling me about that so i was like all right and she told me she said do you want to go or not and in my head i'm like I, I'm a red, like I said, I was mentally preparing myself because one, she's one of my closest, closest friends. So mm -hmm. I can't say no to her. Like, cause if it was vice versa, she would be the first one signed up for it. So I'm like, yeah, but then I'm also thinking about like, damn, I'm gonna spend wild bread, but I'm a fat ass. When it comes to money, you just money comes pay. and goes. Like, like I said, if you can't, if you don't have it, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You do something on your own time. Like, I made sure the first time I went to Zuma, a guy took me. I ain't even gonna hold you. And I'm gonna oh, be put honest. You on? No, no, no. I chose, like, he he surprised me with the dinner, but I chose, he already knew that that's somewhere I was looking forward to. So my birthday two years ago, <clears> that's <throat> where I wanted to go. And, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, he set it up. And the it was just us two. And, and the, the bill was for something. It's crazy. So that's for something on just two people. So hold on. The, the freestyle question. What's you that? would never take a girl out on an expensive date? You want to tell me what I did with girls? You know what our first date with one of the girls I used to talk to? What? A Drake concert. Yeah, in but Jersey. that's a concert. That's not... I, I'm talking the, about the food-wise. The, the tickets were six eighty five Each? No, together. Oh, th oh so three-something, three-something? Yeah. That's not bad. In Jersey. That's not bad. I, I went 26 minutes away from New York. That's not bad. Where you went to the uh, MetLife? No, it was um, it was like Prudential a, Center? It was like an amphitheater in Jersey. Oh, I don't know. But it was when... It well, was regardless, food-wise, food-wise, because, you know, I I, used, I had this issue. I don't want to say it was an issue, but it's just, I guess, culture difference, mm -hmm. you can say, with Boche. Because, mm -hmm. you know, he's Puerto Rican. The The life over there is less is, is less than what it is here in New York. Yeah. So I used to tell him, like, yo, you never been to, like, a high-end, fancy restaurant where you spend, like, over $300 on just two plates? Mm -hmm. He was like, no. Nah. He's like, that's ridiculous. But in my mind, that's normal. Because we've been doing that for so long. That 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 I'm not against fine dining, but... It's, th does, it ha does it have to happen? Okay, let's, let's clarify. It doesn't have to happen See, look, often. Here, here's my dates. My dates are dinner, activity, and then I drive you off home. Okay, where would you have dinner? Please don't say Applebee's. Oh, no. Nah. Don't say two for 20. No, 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 I never. I Please don't one. say no Olive Gardens. Yo, what, <laughs> what do y'all think of me? Like, what do y'all think I'm that cheap? So, okay, so answer the question. What's your What's your idea? I haven't been on a date in two years. Okay, so. So. Wait, but, okay, go ahead. What? No, go ahead. You want to take a shot? No, 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 because you haven't asked anything that made me want to take a shot. What? It, where is the last time, the, your last date, where did you go? That you actually put effort into? Yeah. I'm not talking about like, oh, we was hungry, we just went here. I it haven't been on a, a date. Been, it was a minute. All right, but it was more. Than, it was more than three years. I want to... All right, I'm not asking you when. I'm saying where did you go? The last time I went out Damn, on a I date forgot. was Philippe's. Nah, um, damn, where did I go? It's been so long. Like so, for, like so if a girl was in? to tell you like the way Stacy said, I want to go to Zuma, you would have a problem with that? Nah, I wouldn't. Would you feel some kind of way after you pay the bill? Like, damn, I that I nah. just spent like five hundred dollars on it's, you. Know it's, what? The, it's the game. 
it's, it's the game. If you enjoy fine dining and it, it, this is what I, I got to accommodate, it's just, it's just who you got to be. It's just who you. I, I subscribe to a different wave when it come to dating. Like, is dinner an activity or activity and dinner? And that's dope, that's, you know, because not everyone has that. You know, like, okay, maybe we're just accustomed to that. And yeah, fine. It's nothing yeah, wrong. But People it's not, have their it's not only about being accustomed to that. Like, that's that's cute once in a while. Like, you know, you wanna you wanna treat your freaking taste buds to some freaking caviar and steak some, like what I was fish eating the other day. And some some but, golden truffles. But then you also got, you know, you can't eat like that every day. Like, chill. You ain't no, you ain't not famous like, look, to be eating like that um, every day. I think for my friend Zoila's birthday, we went to Mastro's. Um, this was probably a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. And it was just like five of us girls and I think the bill was like, 800 or some change between all of us. But it, it, this goes back to my preference argument. Like, I am i don't think I've done the high-end dinner thing because I'm like a, a, a... It's a vibe type of thing when it comes to me taking a girl out. Like, it, it I go to low-key spots that and you would appreciate. But you know what? From time to time, you just want your lady to get dressed. You're not going to go to true. a low-key spot and have a girl in heels, you know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, but like, the spots I go to, you can dress like that. That's the thing. All right, but it, it's, I don't know. I guess you just got to be a female to understand what we're trying to say. All right, the like, last, all right. Now that, it just, now that not I remember, only does it sound, I don't I don't want to sound but, like. No, like, it's, okay, not, it's not about example, sounding shallow. Okay, example, it's just, it's preference. No, 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 no. No, it's not preference because, like I said, this is not something where you do all the time. You don't do this. Nah, but you, you. But it's just like a, as a female, a like, occasion. get friend, like, Stacey hits me up, like, oh, where did you guys have dinner? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you want to you wanna sound like that. My man cares for me. Like, we went to so do, catch steak or... So y do y'all base a man's care for a woman based on where he takes you out to eat? No, but it, again, when I say going, it's just a treatment from time to time that it's very well appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Why not? My man dressed up super nice. His lady dressed super nice. Mm -hmm. And we have some fine dinner. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be every weekend. That's but true. But can it happen, yeah. like, at least once or twice a month? Why the hell not? Oh, yeah. I'm I'm never... Ag I'm not against it at no, all. No, no, no. So that's what I'm saying. That it's kind just... of excitement that you get from dressing up with your man and going to, like, some fine dining is the same from, like, let's say I'm saying... I say, damn, I'm craving some freaking nachos not nacho some some chips with spinach artichoke like oh, and can, then he goes it. and takes me to applebee's because that's the ones that i like like it's the same like damn yes i finally got what i was craving and then it's like damn I, I get treated that no that's nasty what but it's just <laughs> it's the, I, I feel like is high it's, it's a lows. balance it's a balance it's a balance like lows. is it okay to it's it shouldn't in no relationship a man should be like nah that's too expensive, or that's why are we doing that when we could just go eat at Flor de Mayo? Mm -hmm. Yo, one of my spots, my go-to spots to take a girl was, um, don't laugh at me, Benny Honda's. I don't like Benny Honda's. That was my I spot. don't like Benny That was my Yo, spot. Yo, let me tell you something, right? Yo, you ever take a girl, well, of course you didn't, but taking a girl to a hibachi, you open her mind up to so many different I'm things. I'm going to be honest. That's a girl that has not experienced Let life. me tell you, I'm going to be honest. Niggas flipped the shrimp. My, my, my bur nah. When I turned 30, which was what, last year? I probably had this year, but the beginning okay, yeah, of the yeah, year. my January, cause yeah. my birthday's in January. Uh -huh. I had a do probably do the most outstanding, astonishing dinners for me. Where? In Fleming's Steakhouse in Jersey, by the Waters. Ah. And he he told me he spoke to the manager for about thirty minutes on exactly detail for detail on what he wanted once I walked in that restaurant. You see, that's how I am, but I do that at my. Spots. And when when I walked, my this is a five star most real expensive restaurant. So when I walked in, this is crazy. Yo, guys. when she told me this, she told me this like what, like a month ago? Uh, yes. And like, I was like, what? Are you with him? No. Oh, oh, if only he knew who it was. But you won't even be surprised. What you, I don't do. I know. Hashtag him? bring the watch back. The watch guy. <laughs> oh, he. Yo, fam. Before you go any further, fam, we need you to bring that fucking no, watch no, back, no. all right? I it's see, almost you Christmas. You know what? At this point, just keep the watch. No, no, no. We're no, not no, doing that fine, modest shit. Just keep the watch. Keep the watch. Your, your wrist is no, looking no, no, real no. naked it right is. now. It's fine. I got the Cartier. But. Oh. So, let me tell you, all right? I walked in this restaurant. He mm -hmm. had the manager put rose petals oh, to my fire. to my table. Did he have to steal them too? 
stole. <laughs> he stole the rose petals. No, nah, no, this this man. So boom, right? He had the table set up with a, a message for me, like, on some happy birthday, Stacy, blah, blah, X, Y, and Z. Now, nah, I'm not even going to hold you. If I did all of that for your birthday and you dubbed me, I'm taking your watch, too, sis. I, that's why now, at this nah. point, I ain't even I'm mad at him. That's being possessive at that point. That's not being possessive. Yes, I just spent is. wild bread on you, that's and you going to do me so, like okay. that? Because if that's the case, you know how much money all my sluts I used to date it owe me? Stop calling them sluts. Don't they are. They women at the end of the day. Yeah, don't, don't mm-hmm. shame them. But we, we can be deadbeat ass niggas. No, because we're not even labeling nobody as nothing. Not now. We're not, not on camera. We're not labeling nothing as nobody. Uh, yeah, That's get... your problem for picking. But what I'm saying, like, whoa, it's women whoa, like that. Whoa there, buddy. We're it not is your doing problem because you keep going for the same one. Nah, you know, this is what I try. I didn't so then, Sluts? So whose problem is that? Mm, I'm a good guy. Mm. I'm a good guy. I'm good. You're going to do what you want for someone who you feel special for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to go above and beyond. I that's do that. just I, freaking his, bottom here's line. Here's the thing. I do. Is That's a part of me at this point. Like, being detailed, being, you know, intentional in my actions and my deeds. So I ain't even going to hold you. That was a good dinner. What? The dinner I had for my birthday last year. Yeah, but you don't got your watch back, so it don't even matter. Yeah, you're right. Whatever. All right, so here's a shot question. Um, Why is she calling? So I calling you during the pod? Yeah. You better dub it. Whatever. All right. So, um, who would y'all prefer, a uh, big dick broke nigga or? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I just. All right. Go. Go for it. Go for it. A big dick broke nigga. Big dick broke nigga. Or a dude. A like you're sh- not even. Okay. Nah. Are you gonna say a little shrimp nigga with money? Or, or a dude with the bag. And whack ass sex. And he's very hairy and he has a micro penis. <laughs> well, you see, you man, I don't know. Big right. dick okay. broke nigga. But okay, what are we taking a shot for though? That's what I'm saying. It's either one or the other, or you take a shot to not answer. Because no, both of them oh. are both of them are preference. Oh, okay, okay. No, nah, but I will take the little with money. <laughs> I mean, no, the... <laughs> yeah, the, no, I would, to no. be honest. I would Yo, you the... just don't want to take the shot today. No, 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 wait, wait. No, wait. I'm answering the question. You okay. want to answer or you want me to take a so, shot? a big, thick, broke, broke nigga. nigga. What like, is he... dick going to do for you? He can't do nothing for you financially. <laughs> <laughs> he can't... Oh, my God. <laughs> what, penetrate you? Yo, you, you... All right, so look, I'll add context. The big dick broke nigga can't do nothing for you financially, but he can satisfy you sexually. But that's why I said I'll take or, the little. I've or, done it before. Or, or, Which one you took before? Take the shot. The little dick. With money? Yeah. So might as well take it. But honestly, I said it in, in a few episodes before, too. Like, sex is not a huge thing for me. Now, if it's good, it, hello, that's a fucking plus. But <laughs> it's, it, it's not, it's not something that... that like, if you're a good-hearted person and you got a little dick, I'm not going to be like, fuck this nigga. Like, his dick is little. Like, I'm not... You little shrimp-ass motherfucker. Oh, like, I got... You, y'all can tell like me how to work said it. that before. Y'all exactly. Ever, y'all ever told a dude that? Where his, his, his Johnson ain't... No, Johnson I never ain't? I never I told him straight I don't, up, I don't, but why? I showed no, no, him no, no, how to do it. No, I, I, t- I did talk about this before where I said, I don't talk about it because I'm sure if I was having sex with it, it wasn't a problem then. Now that I don't fuck with them no more, why would I be like, oh, you shrimp motherfucker? Yeah, why like, do girls do that? Girls, why there are girls that know that there's yeah, definitely why do, girls like y'all? y'all I don't know because, sexual. like I said, I don't, I don't do it. I don't shame it because that was me before, uh-huh. and I was probably like huh, obsessed. <laughs> like my, you, <laughs> my dick may be small, but y'all walls is mad wide. Uh, nah, they don't. It don't got the same vigors as a, as a shrimp dick. No, yeah. So nah. y'all just don't want to take a shot. All right, I'll take a shot because I don't. I'll I take mean, a shot. I'll take a shot because. Yeah. Nah, don't do it because y'all didn't nah, want to. All but... right, so hit us with a fucking good question. Like you playing games? It looked like you said he got a small dick with that attitude. The way you said that, it make it make it seem like you told somebody he got a small. I dick. ain't even gonna. Hold I've you never off. told someone they got a small dick, but this is a big shot. This is all right. So shot. take it since my shout question. out to Casamigos. Casamigos, come out at us. And I don't know, my shot got something in it. Uh, Let me see. I don't know. It's probably some Bing Bong in it. Bing Bong, <laughs> right? There's something floating. There's nothing floating in oh, it. Yeah, it there is. There is. You want me to take it, and I'll bought you another shot. Oh, I see what you did there. I you, didn't do nothing. You say you want to take it, and then I'll pour another shot. I'm no, dr- I said I'll take it and I'll put oh. another shot for you. Nah, it's fine. If I die, I die. R.I.P. I mean, 
we, 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 to the big we, dog. We can't do. We can't have death. Or, we need you here. All right. So we're gonna take a shot. Okay. You're gonna hit us with another question. No, I hit us with another one because I don't want no little dick with money and Harry. I hate Harry. I'm not gonna mm. lie. I had to shave a guy's ass before. Because it was Why? so hairy, and I just couldn't stand staring. Ew. And it was just bothering me so much. But what, much. you shaved his ass Why? or you shaved Why? his ass cheeks? Why, because when he a missionary, you want to grab his ass, and I feel like a, a fur ball. She just got tickling your hand. You know what's crazy, though? I've always said... Oh, here you go. Yeah, hairy guys. I was just going to talk about that. I've always said, oh, like, I don't nasty. like guys. You know, Puerto Rican guys. They, they're, no, they're, they love they're shaving. Hairy. They shave everything. 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 Mm. So for me, growing up being real Puerto Rican, I used to be like, as my gay. Oh, like, you can't. No, nah, it's manscaping. No, you got to Right. But now as, an, now, as an adult, where now life is different, it's like, why are you hairy, bro? Like, so you don't like hairy guys. You don't like hair. So no. if if your man had hair, you'll shave him, right? I would throw shots at him, like um. Let's go get waxed together. But thank God I don't have you that issue. Set up an appointment at the European uh, wax. Uh, I don't know. I just think like, why not just wax? Like, nah, why? shave. Shave is cool. No, no. I mean, whichever, whichever. As long works. as there's wax no is, hair, I just. Wax is crazy. I don't know. I. Just, that hair. Wax is scary than okay. a motherfucker. Like, I, I pubes, don't like hair. I don't I don't like hairs coming out the chest. I don't like that. Like, imagine leading a dude and then... <laughs> <laughs> it got silent. It got silent. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like... Yo, Walter, you got a question for them so they can take a shot? It Yo, got real silent on, in here. man. All right, we're going to try this again next week. <laughs> We just gonna ask everybody just to give us questions. Yo, if y'all want like a tri, what did we consider like a trivia round? Yeah, but I have to, it's options, so I have to give y'all options whether y'all choose one of the options. All right, I think you shot. could come up with one before the episode ends. I think I gave pretty much the the shit. Yo, dudes be hitting me up, asking me to ask y'all wild shit, and I respect y'all too much to ask it. Nah, you could ask, and if we don't want to answer, we don't answer. All right, so go I mean, for But if y'all don't answer, that means y'all got to take a shot. All right, that's fine. That's, so and that's perfectly, that's the point of the game, bro. Yeah, Bing but, bong. But I respect y'all too much. Hey, hey, can't, nah, we appreciate. Right we know that you, are, that you respect it. It's us. not coming from you necessarily, yeah, it's like coming directly. From it's coming from... Huh? What? Yeah, yeah, like just ask the question. All right, what's a question that someone asks you to ask us? I had to do with y'all specifically. Just basically like, yo, y'all single, y'all want to fuck. Shit like that. Gabby's not single. I'm not single. Well, I am. Okay. There, whoever wanted to know. You looking? No, I'm not looking. Just cap. It's not I'm not looking. Days. I'm really not looking. I'm not interested. You done with these niggas? No, I'm just... I'm going to just take you're time for myself. You're fine. That's always good. It's always good to I'm, take time I'm for good, yourself. Yeah, I'm good, yeah. Because if you're not happy with I still yourself, have then... feelings for the person, so i just rather just... You don't want nobody to interrupt your detachment phase from those feelings? No, I, I just... I, I've come to a point where I felt like before I will move forward from, like, just jump onto the next relationship. I don't... I'm not on that type of time. I'd rather just take time That's for myself. the next person's life. You know, like, I'm yeah. not trying to bring no trauma, no baggage, no nothing to my next relationship. You hear that, fella? Stacey's not on the market, but she's on the market. Yeah. No, she's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know... I'm not on the market. We'll, we'll check back in February. Yeah, you could come back to me. Not right now, though. I'm right, good. So, so let's get back on topic, because I ain't got no questions to ask you. <laughs> Just go with the topic. So, um, what has made a uh, girl and guy friendships? Oh no, this is the question y'all didn't even want to answer because I didn't make no sense to y'all. What you mean? What being friends with a guy? Yeah, we already went through that. Um, uh, within your now mature state as an adult, what do you value within a friendship now compared to what you did previously? We said that already, though. It's Truth. like, you know, the being honest, being always being there is also a, I think, a thing oh, oh. for me. You know what's one we'll, thing? We'll speak on that. We'll what's on that. one thing that's super important? It's correcting a friend and not the person taking it very defensive. Like, okay. if Gabby is wrong, I sh if I'm her friend, I should be able to correct her without her getting upset at me. Vice versa. If I'm doing something that Gabby probably feels like, yo, Stace, no offense, but you got to 
check yourself. Mm-hmm. I I think that's so important in a friendship. Period. Like so, you you know what boundaries and what you can basically teeter on to tell the truth or. I think you. Everyone needs to. You I know? don't think it has to necessarily do with telling the truth, though. I think it's just. Like we said, it's like being in a relationship. Like, you have to have that communication because if you don't have that communication with friendships, it's like, what's the point of you being in my life? Well, well, part of that is telling the truth. I got to be honest with my friend. No, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think something that should be valued in friendship is being able to correct your friend and not being so scared of telling them. or And as well as saying no. Like, I should be able to tell my friends, no, I can't, and then not getting upset. What what do you think? What should I take on? Um, when your friend isn't, cause I I understand the best of avail. I mean, a best ability is availability. So what do you, what do y'all believe in as far as if your friend is not there when you're going through a troubled time? Do y'all take it personally, or you try to understand that your friend can't it, be there right there? I think it depends on the situation. I think it depends on the situation because let's say, if it's a man, if it's a man, right? For example, I'll say this like. Me going through, let's say I'm me going through a men problem. If my friend kind of already has been through my journey of multiple men relationship problems, mm. she's like, I already know where this is going. I know how it goes. I'm I'm able to back off out of this one unless she really, 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 really needs me. Mm-hmm. And I, me, it's where I come to realize where I don't share everything just because... Certain things, you don't want to drain other people. I'm always the type that if I'm going through a little negative moment, I try not to include people just so they're not going through it with me. You know what's crazy? I got to say this, though. Like, being Stacy's friend, I know when she's going, th- exactly what she just said, that she doesn't want to drain other people with whatever problem she's going through. Mm-hmm. I know when she's going through that. Like, the other day, usually me and her send each other shit on Instagram. And TikTok. Throughout the day. Like, throughout the day, we'll be sending each other funny shit. And it mm. was, like, two days. I let her be. The first day, instantly, I realized, like, something's wrong with Stacey. But I let her be because I, when I go through that, I want to be let be also. You do the same thing in the group chat with us. Right. I notice it. Oh, no. There's just times where I just be sleeping. I'll be like, No, oh, no, no, not you. Stacey. Oh. Well, you so don't. That I, I yes. don't respond. I, I so, notice yeah. it. So when she does that, like I, I said, I let it wrong. I let it be because at the end of the day, that's because she's feeling some kind of way and she just doesn't want to reach out to speak yeah. because she knows that I'm always be there. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like if she hasn't reached out yet, it's because she just needs that moment for herself. Do you think so then wait, the second day that I was like, Stacey's not sending me nothing on Instagram. Like, I've been sending her things, and all she'll do is, like, like it. Like, she won't put laughing my ass off or, yo, I was going to send you that or, yo, that's so... Like, whatever the response that that me and her have. I was like, she's just liking what I'm sending her. So now it's the second day. Like, now I'm going to reach out to her. So I texted her. I said, yo, you good? Like, Mm. and I put a question mark. She didn't answer. So then I put it again. I was like, hello, with a question mark. And she's like, yeah, I'm okay. And then that knew, that's how I knew that something was wrong with her. So I feel like you need to have that in a friendship. You need to have that understanding. Non-verbal communication. Yeah, like like you got to understand that person's actions. I Do y'all think that people take it personal too much when someone, your friend isn't available because they actually are going through something? And that, that shows think, that they're not understanding. I think for everyone who's, I think when you know your circle, you know when is the time frame of, like, giving a space or not. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I don't think... We're all adults now. And we all have... we At the bottom line, everyone goes through something. Mm-hmm. Of course. So, just because I'm going through something, you're going through something, like, maybe we just need some time before we connect and probably talk about whatever it is that we're That's going true. through. Unless you feel open at the moment, then I have no problems with putting my problems to the side. Hear you out. And then when I'm ready to share with whatever's going on with me, then I'll talk to you about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to make it seem like only you have shit going on with mm-hmm. yourself. And then mm-hmm. just always talk about Stacy's problem, Stacy's problem, Stacy's problem, or whatever it is, or whoever the person is. I was just having this conversation yesterday, like, literally, about this. Because there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of friends out there that are needy. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I call it needy. Where... 
they feel like, oh, we well, don't hit me up all the time. You don't ask me how I'm doing. Like, you know, we're we're adults. Like, we have lives outside of friendships. And, and they, I think y'all understand that words carry weight. It's, so, so me expressing you what I'm going through to some one of my friends, even though we're understanding. But friends. I don't think that that what you're saying. I don't think it pertains to me because I don't want. I don't feel like my friends' problems hold weight on me. Cause you you understand like that's still their problem. That's their problem. You I just, just want to be able to give him. them good yeah. advice on how to move forward or how to feel better about whatever the situation is. So I never want any of my friends, if y'all watching, I think I don't ever want any of my friends to feel like I don't want to reach out to Gabby because I don't want to be a burden on her, whatever she might be going through in her own personal life. I think, with, and, and I totally agree. Do you, I would also add, though, like, let's say, for example, I don't think a friend should ever tell you, like, listen, I don't want to know about what's going on or your problem. It's more of, like, let's say if it's a repetitive thing where it's, like, you let me talk, but just let me don't don't talk back. You know what I'm saying? Just listen. Mm. Because let's say when it comes to men, let's say let's for example, for example, a lot of females and I'm not going to say all, but a lot of females tend to vent on men relationship. But then it comes to a point where it's like you did all of that and now you're going back. Yeah. So it's like the advice you would give them. It, it would went it's going to gonna, it's going to. Go through one ear and go out the other. Why? Now, because ask, you're going back to this I'll person. Ask this. Is it a waste? Or do you just feel good that you just at least said it? No, it's I, a waste. I, I don't. You think it's a I waste? I think it's a Because as a female, as a female, you know when you're done with the person. So until you have that feeling where you know you like a thousand percent done, like I'm tired of this dude, I'm not going to go and complain to my friend. Maybe the first, maybe the second time. Because it's the first and second time, like, I'm going to go to my friend, like, yo, he did this, he did that. But moving forward, I'm going to be like, I'm not even going to do that. And I'm not going to go to my friend because I know I'm not done with him. Mm-hmm. I think a friend should hear you out no matter what. No, you're absolutely and, and right. Then, but me as a person, like, I feel like I wouldn't do that because I just know that I'm not done with the person. So I and that's why yeah. I just that's why I said earlier when it comes to like when you have a best friend. Yes, you share everything. But I don't know, for some reason, when it comes to relationship, it's best to just learn to keep things to yourself because then when you talk negative about what you're going through, your friends start to look at your partner very differently. It's biased. And yeah, then and then biased. it's like, now let's say Gabby's having problems with her man and she's talking to me about him. Eventually, I'm going to be like, I don't even like this dude no mm-hmm. more. Why? Because he's doing X, Y, and Z to you. Or you can be but, object. Part of being a friend is having some objectivity, though. So, you know, yes, my solidarity. Like, for instance, if Gabby was talking about her man negatively, your job as a friend is to be objective, to hear Gabby out, and then also for Gabby to express her significant other side as to why they had the friction. You know? But mainly, we're never really... O- we're gonna get the other side, but it's an odd chance to get the other side because the other person's not really speaking. No, it's but, not that. It's a in, friend is always when they're venting to their their friend, there's someone that they can confide in. They're always gonna say things that make them seem like they're not in the wrong. Nah, See, I, I'm the friend you know that I'll, so I'll 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 state I'm when be, I'm wrong. Be honest, and then you know when what's so crazy? Like when I vent to my friends and I tell them, I say both sides. Because mm-hmm. I want you to really understand. And if I, I'm one person and I'm anyone who knows me knows I like to be corrected. Yeah. If I am wrong, put me in my place. Okay. Period. Like, because I want to know from this moment forward what I have to do next in order to. You was wrong for wearing a crop top and it's 39 degrees outside. Shut the fuck up. You see what I mean? I was being a friend. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to tell her to wear a sweater listen. next time. All I could do is untie the shirt. And at the end of the day. I drive all day. See? So see, it doesn't matter. I, mean? I don't walk. I was trying to be all right, a friend. Hey, let's get back on track. Right. Let's but get I was back trying to be a friend. This is a good, this is a good, I like where we're going with this one. Daddy always got to fuck shit. You know what? Girl, let right? me let me share something in my in my new relationship. Oh, you want to share, but so not in the take a very shot. in the very beginning of me and my boyfriend being together, I don't know if I told you. I remember we, oh, this is breaking we news? went through a situation with you in Puerto Rico. This this is yeah, okay. in, in this, over the summer. So you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is okay. breaking news? No, no, no. No, but it's an example as to what we're talking okay. about right now. So Oh, should I have here in my in, in the my beginning? Face. Well, I can't see, I'm sorry. In the beginning of my relationship 
where I'm at now, him and I had some difficulties. It was, it was a little rocky in the beginning. And it was, it was I don't want to say in the beginning because it was just one incident. Okay. But I think I told Stacy, I told my other friend Barbara, which shout out to Barbara. And shout Giselle, Barb. shout out to my sister Giselle. Shout out Barbara and Giselle, you heard? Shout out to Giselle and, and I Barb. told them three about it. And um, I was, at first, I was like, before telling them, I was like, damn, should I tell them? Because, mm-hmm. like, I feel like... You wasn't I, done with I, the person. I wasn't done with him, but I also needed advice on how to move forward because, genuinely, I want this to be my last relationship. So, so I was like, yo, I don't know how to... So wait, go about it for context purposes. You was torn in between moving past someone in your past and then no, 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 no. It was with a situation more or less where she it transpired in the beginning of her relationship where it gave her like a sign like should I look past this and forgive and move forward or should I take this as a sign and end it right yeah. then and now? What Bougie did to you? It doesn't matter. Okay. So but, you know, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it, like. I'm going to turn to my friends because before I tell my mom about what happened, which I did tell my mom, and my mom also gave me the best advice. But it's like, I I needed that that friend to put me in my place, not even to put me in my place because I wasn't the one that did wrong. So you needed, you needed someone to stop you from being reactive? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what Good it is. Good way to put it. So the, the toxic Gabby, the old Gabby, I was furious. I was like, fuck this. Nigga, like I was going off, mm-hmm. but then it's like I needed my friends to like ground me. Like Gabby, you know, it could be this, it could also be this, but this could happen. But th- you know, so Barbara, to be honest, she was so lo- she's the most logical. Like she was the one that was like, yeah, but it could be this, and then she'll mm-hmm. sit and analyze like, oh, but if you do this and he does this, it can also mean this. So I was just confused because then Stacy was also giving me advice. Which they all gave me great advice. It's just a matter of which one. Whatever, whatever you feel like you. Could At the apply end of the day, it. I went with my heart. And mm-hmm. to be honest, like I'm, I'm glad that I went with my heart look because what, look what your heart told you. No, and look where she's at now. You know and what none I'm of saying? them, none of them told me like you know, especially my mom. My mom told me she was like, "Yo, yeah, everybody I'm, deserves second chance." I'm chances. pretty sure that none of them said anything that they would, didn't. I mean, they everyone did. deserves a second chance. It depends. Also depends on what it is, but I but you feel know like what it is is just that I've been through so much. I think we all have, and I feel like if I could nip it in the butt as soon as it happens, I'm gonna do that you, because I'm trying to save myself. You would, uh, the, some of the marks of a true friend is for them to expand your perspective and to give you different methods yeah. on how to handle situations like that in particular. Mm-hmm. So your friend would be disingenuous to give you negative feedback on how to handle it and to expand your normal way of reacting to things. Yeah. A true friend is to tell you, like, look, assess the situation, see his side, see your side, how you reacted to, how you felt, yeah. and what can you do to improve on it. And so that's fact, exactly what they all did. So. They all gave you different flavors of the smoothie. And all you could do is just combine it and see what the end result is, but you're going to still go with your heart of at course. the end of the day. And, you know, it's it's. Good to, like I said, it's good to share certain things with your friends, but you don't want to constant, constantly do it where you're talking negatively on your partner. Why? Because you also don't want, and I, I, I did wrong by in my past where I spoke so much on a relationship where it's like now people see this person, they'd be like, yeah, X, Y, and Z. But the person wasn't a badass person. It was just, just minor shit. Mm. So with my last relationship now, no matter what we went through, like, I barely spoke on it. Why? Because I didn't want people to look at him as... And oh, view he... him a certain way. But do but... you feel like that's protecting him? It could be. It could be to a certain extent. It's just like I just didn't want... Because I knew that I wasn't done. If you see what I'm saying. But so... look, here's, here's the thing. How someone reacts to how someone feels about the person you're dealing with because they know you is not your responsibility. It's like, not, but as a female, you feel like, you know, like, you, let's say her and her and with her ex. Uh-huh. And then me being one of her close friends, like, you want to have those two people together. A hundred percent. You, you yeah. want to have that. When you're family oriented or and you have a close, like, I want to be able to bring my men around, my homegirls and everybody's having a great time not me bring my man and then people are staring at him like oh this but then, corny but you that, bozo or but, whatever but that's your responsibility to not 
make him seem like he's and under that's, that light. That's, Your job is to be open and honest about who he is and to highlight his good points. And then if you got to highlight his negative points, still be objective about it. Don't do it maliciously. Saying, that's why you like, kind of like but, have to pick and choose what you decide to share with your friends when it comes to situations mm-hmm. in your relationships. I think that your friends, your true friends, shall hold out some... No, look, at the end of the day... Like, as in, like, I have shared things with Gabby, you know, and as well as my other two close friends where in my last relationship ab- about certain situations, and they will be like, yo, stays X, Y, and Z. But if this is what makes you happy and this is what you want to do, then this is how, you but know. But that sounds passive-aggressive at that point. I don't point. think that's being passive-aggressive. Yeah, know. like, whatever makes you happy. Because that's, that's the easy exit no, out of because nine... I'm, I'm expressing what I feel she should do and how she should go about it. But at the end of the day, but, that's my, that's but my we, friend. But we know already as a friend, we want what's happy for you. Right. But we also want what's, what's right. Best. What's, what's right. And right. But you see, with, with her last dude, I mm. wasn't, like, not... I'd never been around him so much. I wasn't around him enough. To, that, to, that's another thing, you know, the fact that... So she, there's been, pri- like, the the guy that we was talking about in a few episodes mm-hmm. before, mm-hmm. that she was um re- not reconnecting, but, like, she spoke to him again on FaceTime, and I was upset at her, so I went to the room. Yeah. That is a perfect example of, because I know that he was such a piece of shit, mm-hmm. I got upset at her for even entertaining him. But, so but that, that's through the experiences that Stacy said yes. that she'd been through with him. Yes. But did those experiences outweigh the, the positive yes. experience? Yes. Okay, so th- that's fair. Right, but that's what I'm saying. In that instance, I I guess I was being like a, a I wouldn't say a dominant friend. A, a not, no, not, yeah. I don't, I'm just, I just, it's, I know Stacey has You're protective. A, yes. You're very protective of your friend and her well-being, especially emotionally. So it, it sucks that I have to, because maybe at that moment she felt like, damn, like, she just went to the room and she shitted on me and whatever she probably did feel or maybe she didn't. Mm. But it's just like, I feel like you have to be that type of friend sometimes. You have to be You gotta that give friend. tough love. Yes. you And I'm that type. I'm a Capricorn. I give tough love. Yeah, you she, have yeah, to she give. She wanna use her Not nah, yeah, because yeah, I yeah. heard that supposedly yeah. that's no, no, no. how Capricorns and, and, are. And it's, and it's and Geminis do it too because my, you know, shout out to Aries, Jen. And Aries. She, she gives me a lot of tough love. Like, she shout says, out Jen. She says exactly what it is with no filter. Jen no, does. Like, I like Jen. And, and, and there's no filter in between. And, like, mm-hmm. majority of the time, I would say, when she says her shit, she's 99% right when, it, when she says her shit. So it's like I take a lot into consideration when she gives me piece of advice on when it comes to certain situations. But, again, if I know I'm... When it comes to relationship, if I know I'm not in a situation where I know I'm not fully done with mm-hmm. emotionally, I just rather not speak on it because mm-hmm. I know I'm gonna hear the truth from it. Like, yo, Stace, I don't think X, Y, and Z. You should go do this, this, and this. So I'd rather keep it to myself because I know that whatever she's gonna tell me behind her back, I'm gonna still probably go lay back with the person. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So in that case, I just rather not share or just not share things. I learned to not really share much in your relationship. Unless you know you're physically done, then you can go ahead and express everything. But if you're going to continue to work on certain things with your partner, yeah. then it just needs to just to stay yourself. between you yeah, and your partner. Well, I mean, relationship in general should be private. It, it should. It should be private it should. for the most But you know part. how females do like to vent a little? Yeah, have, listen, you have to. Listen, when you shake a, a bottle of soda, it got to get released. That pressure got to get released. Some so, of it, 100%. Yeah. So, so it's the course. same as in a relationship, but now you got to just pick choosing wise, like... Who is willing to be deserving of that information? How much time we got left, Walker? We got 25 minutes? Are we doing the whole full two hours? I'm, oh, oh we I'm I like this conversation. This conversation though. is good. All right, so here's a shot question. Um, out of y'all close friends, right? Are they in relationships? We all know. of them. All of them? Yeah. All? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm like the only one that's single. Well, now you were. Yeah, I was just in a relationship. We're going to work on that on February. Um, <laughs> at some point in time, did y'all um find attraction to their significant others? Never. Just can't crack these girls, man. Can't get nothing. Wait, like, like you saying like if I'm attracted to like vulture or something? No, at did at some point 
out of any of y'all friends, significant others that y'all that y'all tight with y'all friends and their boyfriends, at some point did you find some attraction to their significant other? No. Nah. I mean my my homegirls, man, he got some popping ass eyebrows, but everyone knows that. Like he just got some bomb ass eyebrows. I think at this point, I'm y'all might as well. Nah, just but ask. that's different. That's just like damn, your eyebrows is fire. I nah, wish I like, had them shit. Like it's so a lot of people say like, yo, her, her, his eyebrows is dope. Like he got some really good eyebrows. Like that nigga never has. He never has to touch a shit ever. <laughs> oh, he don't got them done. No, they they're just good. Zoila's um, man, my, shout out to Zoila's man. Like his eyebrows is dope as fuck. Shout out Zoila. Shout out the fact that her mom's is back home safe yes, and sound. Yes, 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 yes. And appreciate we, everybody that supported her. I in her truly search. do appreciate all the help. We your social media, the power of social it, it media. Works. So shout out shout out everybody that contributed and helped her get her mom back home safe. That shit was probably one of the scariest things. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I I don't even I don't speak to my moms like that, but if that shit was to happen. Yeah, but she's, if any, you know, for whoever was in tune with it, her mom is recovering. She will be back home tomorrow. Oh, that's a blessing. Everything is going well. And, you know, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank thank you, everybody that supported, posted, shared, you know, put in tips, you know, make sure that she got Yo, God is great. God is great. Oh, yeah, of course. That's crazy. And the power of social media, man. Word. That's true. Social media is powerful as hell. I wish y'all would ask me questions now at this point, and I'll take the shots because y'all, it, my, nah, my questions I think, ain't working. I mean, I don't know about this last question you just asked. That shit was wicked. <laughs> <laughs> what, the last one? Yeah, like. Well, women do feel. You, no, you and, know. I'm not going to say, yo, listen, everything is possible. I learned that. There's nothing that's impossible, period. But I just, I don't, I wouldn't look at my friends, people's like that. So y'all know? don't look at. Is, you know why I can't ask you I'm questions? I'm trying to think of a question that I can ask in you. You can't. Because you will be acting like you don't do shit, right? Right? I don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm a saint. Yeah, sure. I am. Mm-hmm. Ask me a question that, that would prove otherwise. Then. Yo, like, he always has, like, he just, his answers are there, and that's just firm. Like, that's it. I'm a confident individual with who I am. But, oh, so let me ask you something. Where you you was talking to somebody, right? Okay. Or or are we wrong? wrong? Are you still talking to this person? I don't know. It's complicated. Nothing's ever complicated. Because then you know. said you haven't been on a date in three years. I, I okay. I was going with that earlier, but then I was just like, you know what? I don't even want to so, say that. So so. What are you asking? I don't. I don't. Know. I don't get it. Like you what were. You so you, you said you was talking to this girl, but you haven't taken her on a date. What's stopping you from taking her on a There's date? There's nothing stopping me. It's it's all the other party. Oh, okay. so what? She has somebody. Uh, we don't even gonna put it. Okay, cool. You know. know what? It's fine. Yeah, I can ask something else. I'll I'll answer it. I have no problem with it. Because I just didn't understand what was happening. Not that I need to understand, because like we said, it's ta- what you want right, to share. So I asked three times already. So then that's it. You got to give it up. That's it. That's her loss. I wouldn't say that. It's her loss. Circum- every it was, everything was circumstances. It doesn't matter. Work. What? What? What's how's that work? saying? How's that saying? What? What will be? Be will be. Was meant to be. Was meant. Be? To, why am I? Saying? Yeah, it'll be. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not you know, person. I'm such a firm believer of that. Like. Yeah. If it happens, it happens. And and time time shall pass. I listen. I I go with the flow with everything. That doesn't subtract the fact that I am the person who I am. Okay, so let's say she was to hit you up in two, three months. Mm-hmm. All day, day. I miss you. I miss you. We we just talked yesterday. It's not like we. All right, but obviously something is there that's not letting y'all move forward. That it's not me. I know that, and I understand that you. But I'm chilling. If... But but I, I, it's 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 complicated because of the circumstance, and then. She's a cancer, so they don't... I've expressed my feelings to her, and I don't do that with anybody at all. So you're saying it's on her behalf? Yeah, she got to... I mean, I, I don't know. Women are weird. Y'all, you're Women fucking, are not weird. Yes, y'all. No. Because you, you know what it is? It's because y'all signaling. The way y'all signal, the way y'all like somebody or interested How in somebody. How old is she? She's 30. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. Not not weird, but I'm saying for her to not know, like, 
I mean, can every person our uh, age be mature enough? She's mature. No, she's I don't very, think that has to do with being mature. No, she's I just, very mature. All right, so I'll say this. I don't know if this is too much information. If she feels the way, if she watches this, I'm sorry. She has commitment issues. I mean, you're too old to have commitment. I have commitment no, no, no. Issues too. I, I think I it's, it's issues not the too. it's not that you're too old to have commitment issues. I think it's just you have to figure your past trauma and and mm-hmm. finally heal from it and get over it because then you're gonna sabotage Yo, but every that, but relationship. It goes back to what I was talking about with the incident that I had in the beginning of me and him. Like, I, bro, the trauma, especially my last relationship before I got with him, mm-hmm. the trauma. Even physical, like I've mentioned before on the yeah. pod, like that's trauma. Like, yeah, of course, for a woman, hell yeah. But, so, no, no. So for me to to still have this open heart and still have hope, because at the end of the day, that's what it is as a female. You hope. So it's like, I I don't know. Maybe I'm my brain is just well, wired well, different. The, the but thing, the thing with I don't trust women. It has nothing to do with you, though. Because well, you just said that I don't, you have expressed yourself to her. Which I don't do. And, but that's my point. So you cannot say you don't trust women. Because, yeah, you might I not trust fine. women. But for you to sit there and open your yourself to her, yeah, and but she's I, not doing that because she has commitment issues, that's just because she don't want that to. That could be and one it of the, is what I, it is. She, You're going to you, put effort into something you exactly. want. Exactly. I don't whether know. Whether you are... Whether you have... Trauma or whatever it is, you're if, gonna still if put you effort. Fe- if whatever that person is projecting on you, you know. Here's the thing with me: you know, there, there's no gray area with me. It's either this way or the other way. But and that's so what I'm I don't do like the in between shit. But you seem like you have already established with her how you feel, right or wrong. Right. In an unorthodox way, yes. But you have right. Yeah. Like Ooh. she, she, she understands that, right? I guess so. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now if she doesn't want to accept it, that's not because of her no damn trauma. I don't know. No, I'm telling you. Well, hey. That's just because she because I've done that before and I've Listen. used trauma as an excuse. Listen. So I don't know. go and get yourself somebody else, and you're gonna be. Oh, I don't look no. I don't look. That's the thing. Right, I so don't be that's look. Why it's gonna come how to you, how and we then you're gonna so be bad happy. you're saying that you're single. I've always been single. Oh. I just been. I, I all I've been telling y'all is that I've been talking to someone. That doesn't indicate a relationship or anything. Shout we just been we still. just been vibing. We've been kicking it. But Shout other than that, like people. But yeah, other than that, nah. <laughs> I'll be chilling. Another so, question. Do you have something for us or not? Y'all not taking a shot, and my questions right. is okay, why for so that. Come come for us. Cause I already finished my drink. You drunk? No. She looked like it, she right? Looked like, usually, I'm a little schmiz. I'm a little schmiz. Yo, ask me a question. Yeah, I'm always. No, cause I'm, the shot is for us. Yeah, but me too. No, you why can take shots? I'm mad sober right now. So take a shot just because you want to take a nah, shot. Ask me a question. No, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Walter take the shot? He said he was gonna take. They. You didn't take no. the shot. All right, so you know what? Yo, what the crazy. fuck is wrong with you this whole time? All right, all right, guys. Okay, That's so you know crazy. what? Fuck this shit. We gonna take a shot. I didn't. I gotta pull up another. We're gonna take a shot. We're gonna take a shot with Walter. Just because it's December 9th and it's nine forty four. It's December 9th. My daughter Stacey. made a week old. Stacy's tipsy because I hear the slur. I'm kid her voice. free tonight. <laughs> you heard the slur. You hear me? I'm kid free tonight. It's December 9th. It's, a, <laughs> it's not the night. It's this shit. No. No, it's the oh. 9th. But you didn't hear Stacy when she said it. It's December 9th. Yeah. We're going to take right. a shot. I'm not going to lie. I, I drank this whole cup. We're going to take Why a y'all? shot. And you... we're going to take a shot for... Nah, Gabby playing. She's still our, her drink. To our current friends that are in our lives. Shout out to all our friends. Shout out to the good friends. The Shout friends out to the that bad friends. Sh- Shout out taught to the... us. Lessons. The type of friends that we don't want in our lives. True. And the friends who know how to split a fucking bill when y'all go out to Word. eat. Bing bong. Bing bong. Cheers. What's the triple shot? This is some big ass shot. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So we coming back. Ooh. Next week. Oof, stronger than ever. What we're gonna talk about some crazy shit next week. Yeah, I'll try to come with some good questions. No, you're not gonna try. We're gonna have the people in the comments tell us. People what. don't be wanting to submit questions. You know, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. And I'm gonna get a little candid. Go ahead, do your thing. <laughs> you okay over there, Walter? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know how I mentioned, like, I don't like men chest, um, hair chest or whatever. I just feel like I grew some hair chest. Some hair chest? Some, chest. some, some chest. chest hair. There we go. Hair chest. <laughs> hair chest. I don't like your hair chest. Damn. Gabby might need to drive today. Yeah, you might have to drive. Nah, me, I can't even see. Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah, that's bad work. Well, we get, some fucking, we some disabled people. No, well, I'm no, totally I fine. You can't drive tipsy? No, nah, I could. I listen, I drive why why is it that some people drive better when they're drunk? Yo. No, I don't think you can drive better. I think you believe no. that you I have. Now I'm fried. I throw on some house music in the car. Yo. I'm out. Let me tell you what? something. Right? Oons, oons. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. It's Friday, it's Saturday, Sunday. Oh, y'all playing that when I get in the car. Yo, five. You know what's our anthem when we come over here, love tonight? All I need is your love tonight. That's the New Year's anthem. Once the ball drops, that shit going to ring off so crazy. Yo, I'm going to be in Puerto Rico for New Year. You leaving again? Yes. Puerto Rico is not a vacation. You don't love New York no more? Where you going? I might go to Puerto Rico too for New Year's. We're gonna meet up over there. What like, you doing, Walter? For New Year's. I'm not going to Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. So what um, you what you got playing? I don't know yet. Probably low key. Low key. I'm tired of low key. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I spent New Year's in Puerto Rico last year, but I could do it again. You know what it is? My son's birthday is on New Year's. Oh, uh, so you're gonna spend the winter? Yeah, in the hot weather with I, the palm trees a, and the um, fucking San Juan breeze. If I don't get booked for a gig, I'm gonna. Do, there's a studio I go to to go DJ. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be like it. this. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stacy is tipsy. Oh, sh- it's right, December guys. 9th. Let's 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 get ready because it's already 9:48. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Left. That's it. That's it, right? All right, guys. Episode eight, Ultra. Next week, stay tuned. Shout I like out. I like today's episode. Yeah, word. I didn't get to the other questions though. What was cool. the last question before? We're not gonna answer it though. But I, I gotta need a hookah because I'm already feeling tipsy. I need hookah. What so. was the last question? Um, I feel like we didn't elaborate, but we elaborated. Yeah, we, that makes we got sense. This. We yeah. said enough information. You know, fuck. Without, if without. I was cool with you at one point, SMD. See, that's the part. And if I'm to. cool with you today, I love you and I appreciate <laughs> you and thank you for still being in my life. You and I'm what? I'm always I, here for you. It could be three, four, five in the morning. You call my phone. It no. might be on silent. My friend. But when knows. I wake up, I'm gonna call you back. Do not disturb me. My, my friends friend. know to call me. I'm such a light sleeper that I wake up at any given time. So, so if you I, could so you if could I call, call you at, at four five, in the morning, like yo, Stacy, I need gas. I will wake up and go. That's cab. No, she not. I swear to God. What if I'm in Queens? What's she going to do? I will go. If I got it, I will go. Yo, I'm that friend. I really will go. And I think, I don't know, I think some people take it kind of for weakness. I'm on, I'm on E right now. I'm going to drive the Queens I, deliberately. I, I low-key need some gas in my shenanigans. Me gas? Yeah, Byron. Yo, Casamigos, we need gas for our tank, my G. Whenever y'all ready to well, come sponsor. it was a pleasure, guys. It was a pleasure, guys. Peace friends out, and foes. Cup Scouts. Thank you for tuning in always. Friends and foes. Wu-Tang. Yeah, what? <laughs> That's not even. That was West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> this is Wu Tang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm... Yeah. All right. Bye. Later. Yo. Yo. You know what the question was? The the question we didn't get to. A 